Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. I'm here with Shneeky once again tonight. Hello. Should mention that Kate is uh, wrangling a infant again. That's just life, I guess, right now. Um, so, a few things that we have done off camera. So, first thing, um, the workbench. Steve, what was it? Steve's, what, what's it called? Yeah, Steve's workbench. Um, for whatever reason, trying to make slabs in there was crashing the uh, game. So, Sneaky moved it downstairs, and it seems fine now. Go figure. Um, also, conveyor belts. You're going to explain what's going on with the conveyor belts? Okay, conveyor belts. Uh, MFR conveyor belts. Um, Jaded, Trat, Jaded Cat trolled us. Uh, the conveyor belts weren't actually grabbing the mobs. It was just set to only grab items, not non-item entities like mobs. We went in and changed that config setting because that is utter rot. Uh, yes, we can make other forms of moving mobs. We can use the conveyor belts from extra utilities. We can do several other ways to do it, but that's just a single config file change, and that's not going to be world or game breaking. So, you, you know, if you have complaints with that, um, you may deposit them in the circular file. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm going to make that this is going to be really elegant. When I am done, I have a very good idea. I just hope this works the way I think it will. Okay. <sighs> so do you know for sure what side the harvester has to eject from? Is always have to be the back? It uh, the the harvester always ejects items from the back. And uh, the planter always plants a one above it. So you you're going to put that right underneath the right up against yeah. the dirt and it will be yeah. perfect i'm just conducting a little experiment here um apparently that made an oh there it is that's such a funny glitch when an item vanishes from your inventory temporarily yeah funny haha -ha. yeah okay nope that's not gonna work It's the that weird appear disappear, appears and then disappears bug. When you place something that's just barely out of reach and then ah uh, yeah that one. All right. So what we're gonna do. Okay, now how did we deal with the fluids in the last one? Uh, fluid trash can underneath? Right, right. I knew there was a nice elegant solution there. I'm so happy that worked out as easily as it did. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I guess we might as well use another solar. Because I think a solar panel one should be more than enough for this thing. The other one is using a solar panel two and it's keeping up. I don't know if a one will or not. We'll, we can always try. Let's see. However, you're going to have a planter as well as a harvester you're, you're going to have to wire up here. I know, I've actually just gotten an idea. That idea I had before might actually still work, just not the way I thought. I'm trying out the refined I'm trying out those refined to use refined relocation. All right. So 
we know that's not going to work that way. Three most dangerous things to a computer. A programmer with a soldering iron, and a tech with a admin code, and a user with an idea. <laughs> yes. Ideas. Anything but ideas. It's a deadly, deadly doom. All right, so... There was a... Um, let's see, what, what was the phrase? The, uh, the you, you know there's going to be a problem uh, when, when the one redneck, redneck says to the other, Hey, hold my beer. I want to try this. <laughs> That is never going to end well, whatever it is. Never, ever. Oh, that is an elegant so uh, solution using the block extender. Yeah. That's... However, it doesn't get the power down there. Um, look where I've got the solar panel. Where? Follow the cable. Oh... Um, we are showing zero redstone flux coming out of that. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, oh hang on. It's filling up the planter first. Yeah, that's that's all. Um, we'll see if it holds up. We've got a solar panel three if that doesn't keep up. So. The item duct does not appear to want to be moving. Mm -hmm. The item duct does not appear to want to connect to the block extender. Oh, it, it's not supposed to. It's okay. It's not supposed to. That that was left over from an earlier uh, effort. Ah. That is clever. The solar panel putting right there. That is that is very clever. I like that. Thank you kindly. And we can just rinse, wash, and repeat this across the middle one for rubber and the far one for spruce and just oh, you want to build know, call it a day you want to build three of these yeah because we're gonna need all three types of wood and all three types of well, why don't stuff. we just do a few of each tree on this one grid that is an idea too just a second so we'll need oak we'll need rubber and we'll need spruce we could do three of each. That should be more than enough for what we're that doing right now. That should be plenty, yeah, because this is all passive again. It's it's, it's all passive. Um, yeah. As far as collecting the items, I have an idea. Already got that sorted. Trust me on this. I already I already have sorry I already have that uh, idea. Because I was gonna I was gonna pipe it over to the um to to the uh um the kitchen um setup oh i don't think we need to take it that far do we we don't no we're right by the uh metal system you want to add it to the metal system then sure why not it's all going into ae at the end of the day anyways works okay i'll start making some more drawers cool and i actually know exactly where i'm going to inject it too Detach that. Detach that. Though I may have inadvertently made another useful point of connection here. There we go. Okay, so if everything's going according to plan, there should be six trees. Oh. There we go. It just planted some in the wrong rows. Cool, now if all has gone according to plan, 
these should be going straight into the planter. Let's see. Gone according to plan? Maybe? Looks like it. Oh. All right, well, that's definitely something we can do. Okay, and the rest of our rubber saplings. Okay. So because what we're doing is we're taking advantage of the fact that the planter only accepts saplings, right? I just have to make sure that we don't have it stuffed full of billions of extra saplings because we might be able to use those for something. So I just need to make enough room for only the saplings we want, which is going to be a stack of each kind. All right, there's those. And come on, rubber. There they are. Okay. So slots reserved for the three kinds of wood, and all three kinds of trees are planted. It's lit, it's powered. Yep, it's now, it's charging up the uh, harvester now. So we're gonna need, let me just think here. Um, sap, three kinds of saplings, three kinds of wood, and um, uh, apples. Yep. Okay. So with that out of the way, awesome. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, I think that turned out to be a pretty efficient little rig there. Let's just... Uh... Let me see, I need... Oh good, we do have a saw. I've already got some stone covers if you need those. Oh, no, we're using, uh, I'm going to use uh, oak plank covers because aesthetics. Aesthetics. Yeah, i got to start working on that. I promised that I would do better this time around. <laughs> I just need to figure out how to make holes in... Um... I just need the microblock recipes here because I actually don't know how to make the, what are they called, the hollow slab. Oh, you do eight of the covers around. Ah, there we are. Okay. That makes some sense. Of course, you wind up with a lot of them, that's for sure, but... I guess okay I thought that item ducts were microblock compatible are they not no they are not <sighs> however you can whack one with a wrench to disconnect well that doesn't help me put them through a uh, microblock though does it no it does not too bad they have their own cover system that's kind of eh. Hmm. Too bad. Oh well, I guess uh, what you see is what you're going to get then. 
or I cover it up with a multitude, uh, it's bury it or something. Oh well, not for today. Okay, so the last thing I want to accomplish today, other than quickly reviewing our quest list, which is actually completely empty right now. We have no quests finished right now. To f well, considering how many we, we finished last episode, I'm, I'm good with that. That is true. Um, I think I am going to get our uh, last set of drawer controllers hooked up. Okay, so we need cores. Oh, you've been making some uh, stuff as a rehearsal, I see. All right, one interface, one storage bus. All right. All right, we're gonna need a lot of cable here. Well, let's see how we're doing on short on glass right now. Now, do we have an under... Do we have a walkway all the way out to the mob farm? Underneath? Not yet. Why? Because if I'm going to run cable out there for the applied energistics system... Um, I guess we could run it overland, couldn't we? Hold on, we gotta back up. Oh, do we? Again? That just means we need more drawers, doesn't it? No, it means we need a... a oh, we got some new boots. Um, that's just a bunch of boots. So we just get out and oh my. include that in the list of items. I think maybe... We've only got one angry zombie head and one witch head. I'm gonna go make a more compact drawer for the, head, for the mob heads. I'll make one of the four slot ones and we'll move the mob the current the common the mob heads we have into there. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, here we go. Get that. And that. All right, so I got four of the littler guys now, because that's how it works out. Oh, I need a key, don't I? I've got one. Just throw her over here, and I'll go uh, take care of that little issue. Um, because I noticed that we're kind of using big big boxes for things we don't need big boxes for right now. Having said that, we're gonna need to consider a way to upgrade pretty soon for the rotten flesh and, and bones and things and yeah. a couple others. Okay, and Enderman heads. And that one's gonna get definitely locked. Those ones are gonna stay unlocked. Now eggs, I think I'm gonna do eggs the same with eggs, because I don't think we're gonna get a crazy number of them out of here. Probably not. Uh, they only show up when you when you have chicken riding skeletons. So, in is, other words, which is evil and sick, and and you're a, a, a rotting genius, jaded. I would say that um, we could consider potions to be somewhat on the rare side as well. Consider what? Uh, healing potions. Probably. Well, it's a rare job from witches, so... Basically, if the witch dies while it's trying to heal itself. Alright. I didn't get a chance a couple of episodes ago to, um... to be able to start doing the other... the, uh... um... breeding of the mystical flowers. 
Yeah, that's so right. they're all still at triple ones. I'll I'll work on that at some point. Okay, but uh, I didn't get a chance to. No worries. Um, all right, so we've uh, I've cleared up a whole bunch of drawers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots available now. Awesome. So we're not going to run into a wall as soon as um, we have one too many items. Awesome. Which is, I think, pretty good news. One of these days I need to disable the grinder, get in there with a weapon, and start getting the, the, the mob-killing achievements out of the way. Yes. That's going to be a dangerous prospect, isn't it? No, you just open a one-by-one -one hole and start whacking away. Fair enough. Okay, I'm just going to bring the... Uh, for now, I'm just going to bring the ME network uh, over above... Um, up top to our uh, to the other end, because I think that's the best bet right now. figure out how to bring this around. Uh, we are collecting sludge in this harvester. Oh, oh, it's not working. It might only work with uh, direct connection. I'm thinking maybe the second block extender is flipped upside down. Could be. No, the obsidian face should be touching the target item. And it's supposed to work stacked up like that. Yeah, it's supposed to work stacked up like that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but we, we are collecting sludge. Well, there is a fairly easy way to tell what the nature of the problem is. We could always put the, um, the the fluid drainer thing on top of the harvester. I don't know if it'll work. Will it? I guess. Oh yeah. We, I guess we could try it. Yeah, just put it on top instead of underneath, since the, uh, the 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 solar panel is on the side. Oh, we've got a problem. Oh. Yeah. What's wrong? The uh, the solar panel is under where leaves spawn. Oh. That is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Oh, that got rid of the sludge. We good. But, um... There. Now that I broke that, solar panel is, is getting power again. Too bad. That was such a clever solution, too. Well, we could just push it out a little bit farther. Yep. Oh, no, it's raining! Downside to solar. That's okay. It's... You know, this would be a perfect place to do our wind. Yeah, we could do the wind turbine. Um, be a little more complex to set up. Because they do have to go up for it, don't we? Yeah, you're going to have to get up to at least 64 for wind power to work. Okay. Yeah, let me go get that ME system hooked up. Or at least most of the way hooked up. Okay, this one has a light level of 50, so it's working ish. Just to have power. Uh, this one over here, yeah, its capacity is 50%. Its generation is 1 RF per tick. That's not going to cut it. Okay, is it just the quality of the solar panel, maybe? Yeah, it's the quality. The, the solar panel is generating 1 RF per tick right now in the rain. The other one is generating 16 times as much. So we need to just replace it with a better solar panel. Yeah. Well, fortunately for us, 
We have one. Sword of Panel Mark Three. You can always just upgrade this Mark One to something more useful. There we go. That should do it. Ooh, generation 64 RF per tick at half power. So we're definitely good to go on that. Yeah, it's producing a bit of excess now. Let's see. And the Mark II is made from eight Mark Ones, so... That makes sense. In a crazy sort of way. Of course, we need seven more of them, which is... You okay? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good. I was just standing where a tree spawned. Yeah, and that just, tree just evaporated in no time at all. Alright. Not my favorite way to lay there cable. You go. But... That's uh that's actually working out quite well over there. That's that's gonna probably meet our wood needs for the immediate future. Good. And that brings me to another interesting point. Oh. Um, we're going to want a crafting storage somewhere on the network in fairly short order so that we can start doing things like auto crafting of certain resources. Um, we can use one crafting, um, it, not the, not the MAC that we had last season that we ended up with, but like one or two. Yeah. And set it up with things like oak wood to oak wood planks to sticks. Yeah, we seem to go... That one seems to come up a lot, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, man. Okay, that was annoying. What? Just a little... glitch at trying to uh, lay cable here. Oh, But yeah, we've, uh, we've we've actually gotten a lot accomplished so far. Um, yeah, we, we've we really go. laid out some stuff. Looks like it it should be a, pretty close to our wrapping up point by now, shouldn't it? Uh, pretty minute, pretty soon. Yep. Um, and with that, we have mob items now available in the network. Awesome. It's not pretty. We're definitely going to want to move that down later, but I thought it might be nice to just not have to walk, run across there every neat time we need an ender pearl. Yeah, valid, valid. Um, also, how many things are on our little ad hoc network? We're probably getting close to eight. Um, let's see. Well, okay, terminal is one. Crafting storage bus over there is two storage bus on the minerals system is three. Um, your devices for the interface is four. The ME drive is five. Okay, and the, the storage bus on the one in the kitchen? Six. So we're too, sh too, too shy. Uh, we've got space for two more before we have to start thinking about... Um, well, we, we may want to start thinking in the next episode, then, about getting the controller so we can get well, that going. That should be not a remotely a headache, really. And should also probably start contemplating um, some some better cables as well. But that that's going to be for the yeah, next episode-ish. We're, we're not far off uh, having that ability, so... Oh, real quick, there's, um, hmm, what do we need for that? The molecular assembler requires two quartz glass, formation annihilation core, crafting table, and four iron ingots. We can probably bank that I out right now. I have 
everything. Yep, it's already. I actually had the uh, stuff already made because I made some cores. Just give me one second. So go ahead and make one, and that's modular assembly. It gets us a free ME interface. Nice. Because the one K storage drive is going to take up a slot on the on the um, on the thing as well. Right. Right. So we are going to need a looking at. Um, yeah, we'll a, need. A, controller soon. Yep, yeah, but we knew that was coming pretty fast. All oh, right. Yeah. Didn't unlock any new uh, quests. That's interesting. I think we're almost done with Applied Energistic. The only thing we're really needing is the Essentia Storage. That's going to be the stuff we're going to need when we get in heavy into Thomcraft. Um, that's going to really make um, that kind of stuff a snap. Cool. Which reminds me, we probably need to start getting into some kind of a magic mod sooner or later. I know we've been in playing around with our tech toys, but uh, yeah, you know, there's a whole magic side to this pack as well. And I think it's going to be time to dig into that. Um, I think maybe I'm going to dive into botanical engineering a little deeper. Um, or I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think on that. I've already got a diluted mana pool set up. All we really need is a, a day bloom to plant and then um, mm -hmm. be able to, to, to get that set up. Um, you, you may need to have a, a thing to, to be able to put in the mana pool. But um, once we get the mana pool set up and the day bloom, that's another couple of things for botanical. And then, you know, you get into botania mm -hmm. there. Cool. Uh, it's just that. What I normally go into Batania for, we, we haven't really had a great driving need for yet. That is true, isn't it? Also, I'm fairly certain Jaded has the decaying passive flowers turned on. True. Well, we'll, we'll think on it. Um, maybe, I mean, Thumbcraft and Blood, Blood Magic were always uh, good standbys for... Especially, you know, Thomcraft is almost one of the most useful ones just because of its versatility. Depending on the circumstances, it's it's got a lot of points to it, a lot of uses to it, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a lot of ways to automate it these days. It's a lot easier than we used to have. Yeah, well, there's definitely toys in here I do not recognize just on the grid. I mean, the first one right there, Magical Cobble, is one I do not recall. Thomic Stone, Instru Stone Extruder, that's... That's a new one on me. In fact, I'm kind of curious. What mod is that from? Extruder is from... Witching Gadgets. Oh, do we have Witchery on here too? I hope not. It's one of my least favorite mods. It doesn't look like it, but I wouldn't even know what to look for, really. I don't think it is on here. There's not really much reason for it to be in here, because it's mostly a PvP mod, as we've discussed. Okay. Well, we will leave it at that, guys. That is productive. We've got a tree farm. <sighs> got a few other things done. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye for Take now. Take it easy.